Hemochromatosis is a disorder where too much iron builds up in your body. Let's briefly review the physiology of iron absorption before moving on to pathophysiology of hemochromatosis. The absorption of most dietary iron occurs in the duodenum and proximal jejunum. At physiological pH, iron exists in the oxidized ferric state. To be absorbed, iron must be in the ferrous state. The low pH of gastric acid in the proximal duodenum allows a ferric reductase enzyme on the brush border of the enterocytes to convert the insoluble ferric to absorbable ferrous ions. Once ferric iron is reduced to ferrous iron in the intestinal lumen, a protein on the apical membrane of enterocytes called divalent metal cation transporter 1 transports iron across the apical membrane and into the cell. Once inside the enterocyte, iron can be stored as ferritin or transported through the basal lateral membrane and intercirculation bound to ferroportin. The transmembrane protein ferroportin is the only efflux route of cellular iron and is regulated almost exclusively by hepcidin levels. Hepcidin binds ferroportin, resulting in its internalization and degradation and effectively shunting cellular iron into ferritin stores and preventing its absorption into the blood. Thereby, hepcidin also potentiates the excretion of iron through the sloughing of enterocytes and their ferritin stores into the feces and out of the body. Therefore, hepcidin lowers plasma iron levels. Conversely, a deficiency in hepcidin causes iron overload. But why someone might absorb more iron than normal? Well, someone could have primary or secondary hemochromatosis. Primary hemochromatosis is also sometimes called hereditary hemochromatosis. In hereditary homochromatosis, regulation of intestinal absorption of dietary iron is abnormal. As we mentioned before, the main regulator of iron absorption is the protein hepcidin. The adult form of hemochromatosis is almost always caused by mutations of HFE gene. Normally, HFE gene encodes a molecule that governs intestinal absorption of dietary iron by regulating hepcidin synthesis. However, the mutations in HFE gene reduce hepcidin synthesis, thus reducing the level of circulating plasma hepcidin. The decreased hepcidin ferroportin interaction eventually leads to more iron outward flow from cells in the small intestinal mucosa, causing a rise in iron concentration and the systemic overload. If hemochromatosis is brought on by some other means besides a genetic mutation, it's called secondary hemochromatosis. An example of secondary hemochromatosis is through frequent blood transfusions. When you get new blood through the transfusion, after about 120 days, those red blood cells die off and the iron they contain gets recycled. So each new bag of blood basically adds a bag of iron to your body. So lots of transfusions means lots of iron in the blood. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.